What's going on, everybody? Listen, are you guys thinking of things and it's showing up on your cell phone and you're trying to figure out what in the world is going on? Is your cell phone actually reading your thoughts? I actually did some research on error correcting codes and light codes and the internet, how that even operates and how that even connects with us and our energetic magnetic field. And it's just a crazy amount of information. I want to share this information with you. So if you're experiencing this, you may want to watch this video all the way to the end because it may actually shock you as to how this is actually happening. So make sure that you subscribe and also click that bell notification so you can always be in a know when I upload videos just like this. So what happened was I was just thinking of things and it was happening like every single day. And these things that I was thinking of would appear in the form of advertisements or a YouTube video would pop up or an article that I was looking for would just pop up. And I'm just like, it's never been this easy for me to find information. Why is it happening so fast like this? And then I started doing research on error correcting codes. And being that I know that everything is light, including code, I started to figure out some things. So what I want to do is first break down what a 3D dimensional object is or what our reality is, okay? Now, if you don't know, your brain doesn't know anything. It uses the senses, the sight, the smell, the taste, the touch, all of these senses to collect data. These senses actually send the data to your brain and then your brain projects a 3D holographic imagery on what it thinks it is, is happening on the outside world, okay? So that's kind of like a basic explanation as to what we see, our 3D reality and all of that stuff. Also keep in mind that our lights, our eyes, I mean, can only see certain rays of light. Like we can't necessarily see x-ray. We need different matrixes, matrixes that can break down different codes so we can actually see those codes projected in like a pixelated type of form, okay? So now I wanna dive into a little bit about like how the internet works and how images go from just being information to a pixel and project it to you on your computer or your phone screen, okay? So a light frequency carrying data, it travels through space and connects with uh, a glass fiber, which will display a message. And that's kind of like the very, very basics of how the internet works. Now, these messages are code words, which are a series of ones and zeros. Using these ones and zeros with a special coordinate system um, corrects the code to remove any type of mistakes. So when it comes to like space probes, things that are out in space, um, collecting data and taking pictures of planets when these space probes are sending information from its location all the way down to Earth. It has to travel a long way. That information then travels through space and has to pass through the electromagnetic field of the Earth. And that information or that data or that message can become slightly corrupted or a little bit messed up. And then we have to use um, another type of uh, code to kind of break that down and figure out uh, where the mistakes are in, in the code to fix those mistakes. And it may have been like a very low quality picture, but then you take it from low quality to the highest quality possible. All right. So, all right, so let's go back. So using these ones and zeros with a special coordinate system corrects the code to remove mistakes. Then this data is uh, this data is displayed in the form of pixels, okay? Now, mistakes in the original data and the received data occur when the light frequencies interface with the electromagnetic field of the Earth. 
and scientists call this electromagnetic uh, interference. These binary codes, these ones and zeros, are then used with a generator matrix, um, kind of like a, a basic uh, instruction as to how to uh, break down these codes. This generator matrix uh, is used uh, with these binary codes uh, to project the codes into a higher dimensional space. So when they take these uh, uh, codes from a 1D space to a 3D space, the generator matrix uh, is a one by three matrix of all ones. So if you just picture three ones all together, just grouped as one, 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 that's like the makeup of the generator matrix, okay? Uh, it will take that 1D bit from the original message and transform them into a 3D code word uh, or code words from the original message or data. Okay, they take all of this information. You may have um, a series of zeros and a series of ones grouped in segments of three, and they take those and spread them out and they formulate these into like cubes or, you know, whatever shape uh, that, you know, is that you're trying to generate depending on like how the code is grouped. So in this case, we're talking about uh, groups of three. Um, and this information is vital to just know how the internet is connected to our minds. Now, the engineers and scientists have found out that using light frequency, they can create a web around the earth to send data from one place to another. Now, this is my theory of how our thoughts are being projected on our phones. What I believe is happening being that our thoughts are light, and this is scientifically proven, what's happening is that when we have a thought, that thought goes out into the ethers, okay? It doesn't get a chance to travel to space time and get stored there as usual. I believe that it's actually traveling, getting caught in the web that has been formed around the earth, which is the, the web, the internet web. It's being caught in that web and it's being transmitted and sent right back to the electro, uh, right back to your device, whether it be your phone or your computer to uh, show you what you were actually thinking and uh, display it on your screen as many pixels. And honestly, I, I don't really see any other way or how it could be any other way. I know this may seem a bit far-fetched, but according to Forbidden Knowledge, which is created by Billy Carson, he also states that um, we're living in a holographic matrix, okay? Uh, where item or where um, things are being projected by using um, different uh, geometric or uh, sacred geometric shapes. And yeah, you guys need to check that out. It's actually in for, ForbiddenKnowledge.com um, or you can just go to 4BKTV um, or 4BK.TV to just dive into how he explains it so you can kind of get a gist as to, you know, what exactly is going on. So if that made any type of sense to you, then leave a comment in the description in the comment section below. Or if it didn't make sense to you and you're like, what in the heck are you talking about? That's fine too. If you totally disagree, please leave your opinion in the description box below. But this is what I believe is actually happening, that our thoughts are being captured by the web that is surrounding us and being projected back to us on our screens in the, on our screens in the form of pixels, which is being displayed to us as YouTube videos and or um, advertisements and articles. All right, so if you guys have anything to add to this, I highly suggest that you leave um, your comments in the description below. And also I'm going to leave a video link to 
the error correcting codes video that I watched to just figure out exactly what's going on. And then um, what else am I going to leave? I think that's probably probably it. And then I may just leave the information for for a bit of knowledge, uh, the website that I use a lot of um, um, that I gather a lot of my data from and, and it helps me further along with my research. I go to an Egyptian mystery school there. You definitely want to dive into that because that is how I actually found out about error correcting codes. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time guys, I'll see you later.